Hey, welcome to another one. All you walkers, runners, joggers, if you're looking for a little gem here in Eastern Pennsylvania, there's a place called Carl Starner's Arts Trail. It's right off the 13th Street exit off of Route 22, which is right here to the left of me here. You have 13th Street exit, there's a light, you come right down underneath 22, and here's this parking lot here. Let me go back right up. There's 22 back up here. They just redid this whole area here, so it's really nice and a good place to park. This whole path right here, we're going to turn this around. This whole path right here is almost completely shaded. I'm going to say about 75% of this trail is all shaded. Uh, the 25 other percent, they planted trees, so eventually it will all be in the shade. And it's all paved also, so if you're running your bikes or walking, jogging, whatever, it's definitely a great little place to uh, walk. All along they have, I think different times of the year here, they have these different, um, I guess the kids do the artwork. I'm not sure what project or school it is, but I know they come along and they, they repaint it and then they do new ones. Then every so often you're going to see little uh, monuments or little statues. Uh, it's definitely a great little place to walk. Here's another shot of me walking in the, I guess we're about a quarter mile into it. This is just a gorgeous place. And you can see from all the shade on the ground how uh, it's nice. You're out of the sun, you're not going to get sunburned. There is the traffic from 22, but hey, about a half mile in now. They keep putting more of these uh, little things of artwork here. I'm not really sure what, sure what this thing is. This is the. Nairobi, here let me uh, bring this around. Down a little further, there's a pair of uh, a pair of balls. Two of them. <laughs> they remind me of the old uh, World War II, the uh, mines that you would see that they would drop in the water. Uh, I guess they're uh, nitrogen, nitrogen and hydrogen. I guess they're symbolized. Anyhow, there's a part here where the trail keeps going by the balls then there's a dirt trail that goes down here never been down here and go check it out hey so I took off that little dirt trail and down here there's a dam right behind me there's some uh, surveyors doing something so I came down a little bit but uh, it was really nice down here I never came down here there's uh, the flowing river little rapids down here do a little time lapse but this is really nice I'm going to keep walking down this way and see what's down a little further check it out make my way back up to the paved path. It was definitely cool to come down here and check this out. I'm gonna go this way. Pretty cool down here by this old abandoned trestle. I was never down here before. Just that me and the wife always do the paved part so it's kind of cool to explore off down here. I guess I would imagine this is a lot higher when uh, the water's up. would not be able to walk down here. Pretty cool. So there it is behind me, coming out. And then when I turn around, this right here, right here, this is the paved path. Like I said, we all stay up there. We've never come down here. I see people bring their dogs and stuff down here, so I had to come check it out. Speaking of dogs, there's a full-size dog park up here. That's where we're heading next, so let's move it up there. And when you follow that trail out, it brings you right back up. Right up here is... the paved part. And then back here is the way that we came. I just kind of did a detour down and back up. 
sorry about the noise. This is right along 22. It's probably the only part that I guess maybe some people might not like. We usually come down in the mornings. I'm here in the afternoon after work, so it's a little bit louder. If you're into cemeteries, Eastland Cemetery is huge. There's actually a little gate here. You can go around. There's plenty of room to go around. You can access it through there. Lots of places to walk back there. And then these were the... I'm start walking backwards. These are all the trees that I was talking about. The plant right here. So all this sunny part right here will all be shaded. Be a couple of years, but it'll definitely all be shaded. And down here, I guess fishing is in season. Fishermen. All right, dog park's right down here. I'll turn it back on the. Hey, we're coming up on the dog park here. You turn around, walk backwards again. We got some crazy more sculptures right here. See right here. Right down here is the dog park right here. Down here, dog park, it bends hard. It goes down about another half mile. And there's an, another part of the cemetery where it ends there. Um, that's where we usually turn around. Down and back is a two mile uh, stretch. Um, you can go into Easton that way, but we usually just do this. But uh, yeah, yeah, let me turn this around so you can see it better. All right, here it is. There's a little dog park. No one's down here at the moment. Sometimes I see sometimes like a dozen uh, dozen dogs down here. Probably the more popular times might be uh, Saturday, Sunday morning and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's a cute little place. You got dogs, they let them loose. Dogs get to play. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, the trail goes down this way about another half mile. I don't feel like going down there today. There's a cool red arch. I have some pictures of it. I think at the end of this video, um, from my previous walk, I was just taking snapshots. I'll probably just do like a, video, or a, a montage of pictures and a little music or something. So, yeah, there's 22 up there. I got more trees planted up there. So, once again, this is a beautiful little place to come run if you're in the eastern area. If you're in the area, you probably know about it, but even if you are in the area, you don't know about it. Or if you're here visiting for work or whatever, it's a great little place to come and run, walk, or just to get out. Hope this helps. Take care.